were talking earlier about the fact that, like, my family thinks that vapor rub can cure anything. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything like that in your family? I'm a chicken soup dude. I'm like, look, chicken you know, soup right? for the right? soul. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so, yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 In fact, it was funny because, uh, you know, there was a flu going around Hollywood and everything like yeah. that. It ran through my family, had my kids down for a week. They missed no. a week of school. I'm laid up and I'm at work. And I'm literally like in between takes. I'm just laid up on the couch. And Debbie Allen finally just looked at me. She went, go get this boy some chicken soup. And they brought me some chicken soup, uh -huh. Debbie Allen's chicken soup uh -huh. and uh, ginger ale. And first off, y'all know Debbie Allen is the guy. Yes, right? yes, right. yes. She's, Love she's, her. she's real magic because I swear to you, 24 hours I've been laid up. I ate this chicken soup and this ginger ale. We're better. I was good. Better. I was good. Oh. I was right. Look at that. My whole family was mad. They were mad. They were, they were like, I, I, I said, y'all yeah, go ahead and do good. your little liquids and pills. I got my chicken soup. <laughs> Debbie Allen chicken right. soup. So yeah. the stereotype is that actors are mostly discovered after struggling for years right. or waiting tables. Right. How did you get your big break? There, there was struggle. There, <laughs> there was, was struggle? There was struggle, but I got lucky and I jumped. Uh, I, I got my job out of a contest in a mall. My, huh? No way. Uh, my, my first job. Uh, Aaron Spelling. Y'all know who Aaron Spelling yeah. is? Right? Yeah. The great Aaron great. Spelling. Yeah. The great Aaron Spelling. Yo, uh, 90210. He, yes. he was doing a new show, a daytime show, and he was, uh, his, he was wanted to find a fresh face. So they went to all the malls, kind of like American Idol does. Yeah. yeah. You know, would do, like, you know, go around. And he, for, him, for them, it was a publicity stunt. Okay. We're going to get everybody in those cities talking about the show, yeah. free press in all those cities. Smart. We'll bring somebody, you know, people out, and we'll have a thing in L.A., get free national press blast, mm -hmm. and then give the person, like, four or five lines and send them on their way. Mm -hmm. They didn't think they were really going to get anybody, but, you know, op opportunity meets preparation. Yeah, you know, equals success. Equals success. So the day that they were doing the contest where they didn't really expect to get anybody was the one day they were casting the one brother on the show. And whoop, whoop. I'm sitting there watching these dudes <laughs> audition. I'm like, why can't I get in there? Why can't I get in there? And then I did my audition for the contest, oh, and they were like, oh. Okay, hot stuff. Oh. Hello. There you are. Wow. See? I was one of the people yourself. that they got really <laughs> excited about because I was obsessed with Sunset Beach. She was. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> obsessed. It was a true story. It was so great. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. Um, tomorrow is the presidential inauguration. Mm -hmm. Will you mm -hmm. be attending? I will not be. Uh, I will not be attending. I will be, uh, I will be that, being active in other out? ways. <laughs> I will be active in other ways. Uh, being, I will be showing my patriotism by fighting for what I believe in. Mm. Uh, in other <laughs> and, uh, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you going to do? There's, uh, you can't just there, say that. I want to know what you're doing. There's a love-a-thon <laughs> happening on Facebook. Uh, yeah. It's called the Love-a-thon, which is raising money for things like the ACLU, Planned oh, Parenthood, oh. you know. Good. Um, yeah. Earth Justice. Uh, I'll be doing the, uh, I'll be taking, uh, we, Look, I got, a fa I got three kids, so we can't fly everybody to D.C. Right. But they are doing women's marches all across the country. So the day after the inauguration, we'll be taking the whole family down and we'll be marching in the women's oh, march. I love yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We were talking about me being a fan. I love that you're standing with women in Washington. But also, your one of the things I love about your character on the show is that you are he's married to Bailey, who yeah. is the chief of the, yeah. uh, of the hospital. hospital. Yes. And I think you do a really good job at showing how to make a relationship work with a really strong and powerful woman. Mm. I love and that. That's, that needs to be seen on TV, because it's not always the easiest thing, I think. I'm so glad you said that. I'm so glad yeah. you said it, because it's one of the things I'm most proud of, is being part of a, uh, a long... Scene. I've been coming in and out of the show now for something like eight years, and I love that, you know, it's a, a strong, happily married... Upwardly, you know, mm -hmm. upwardly mobile black couple, yeah. and she's, you know, she looks like she got regular woman curves and all yes. the right places. <laughs> yeah. and, and 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 she is a powerful woman, and that he's not threatened by that, that he's not yes. he's not tripping, that you know, it's like you know, I, I remember uh, back in the day doing Sunset Beach. I remember doing the, I co-hosted the Daytime Emmy Awards, and Oprah came through because oh. you know she always went in something, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> And Stedman, and Stedman was there, and I just remember looking at dude, and I was like, he was so chill and within himself, mm -hmm. and he was like, he was like, no, I know I'm on point. Yeah. I don't need y'all to tell me that. Yeah, and I just I thought that. that's that's what it's about. Real yeah, he had that confidence. Well, Jason, thank you so much for stopping by. Always a pleasure to chat yes. with you. Be sure to catch Jason George when Grey's Anatomy returns next Thursday yes. on ABC.